This building, Westmount Square, was designed by Mies van der Rohe in 1967. So it's an exciting building to work in because it's a classic piece of modernism here in Montreal. My client, who's the top real estate broker in Montreal, has seen many projects that I've done and approached me with this project. It was an unbelievable experience. Um, he is a very organized designer, very specific in his description of what he's proposing to clients, and it makes it a very easy process. Every project begins with function. Really, it was looking at the client's needs. She was moving from a house in Westmount to an apartment, still wanted to work from home. So it was really important to really look at the function, the storage, and then build from there. I wanted this unit to be portrayed as a unit that people would see themselves in. I didn't want it to be too cold. I wanted it to be contemporary yet warm, and he was able to achieve that. The one thing that's interesting about this project is that a lot of people know me for really classical work with lots of architectural details and moldings and stuff like that. And I love modernism. I love true modernism. You know, the same way that I take in a traditional space and I always add something contemporary or sharp to keep it for today, it was exciting to work on something so minimal and so clean to kind of work the other way around and take something modern and try to give it still a warmth and a life to it. Structurally, we're working within a space that has structure dictated, but we completely opened up the space and tried to improve on things that weren't as conducive for today's living. This was actually a three-bedroom condo, which we turned into two bedrooms, but actually one is an office, that is a large master bedroom, and made a larger living room, dining room area, opening up the kitchen, creating an interesting space. To me, a very contemporary open space is nice, but there's certain things that I don't like to see when I first walk into a space. Lots of times you walk into the kitchen because it just seems to me like there's no sense of welcome or entry or to me also there's no sense of privacy from the hallway and in this apartment the first thing I wanted to do was create a vestibule and then create a space that blocks the kitchen which we made this cube which is the laundry and all the pantry and the storage which meant we minimalized the amount of cabinetry that was open to the space Whenever we do an open kitchen, I try to make it look the least amount like a kitchen. The island has like a washed wood on it. You really don't see any appliances from sitting in the living room. And you'll notice the cabinetry, the wall where the sink is and the refrigerator that's fully integrated. There's a frame around that whole thing. And I find that kind of just integrates it and gives it more of like a furniture feeling as opposed to kitchen cabinetry. Just looking at the whole material palette, we have a lot of black and white here, which is beautiful and sharp, but it can be cold. But you add to it like a really warm Italian oak floor, and then you add this beautiful striated marble that we found, and the washed oak cabinetry, I think it just sort of added like an element of furniture in a space. Every house to me has to have a fireplace or a focal point. I find if there's no fireplace or no focal point, the room loses something. So if I put a fake fireplace, that would look really hokey in a face like this. So you'll notice under the television, we created this sort of long element that's lined in black glass, and it's just full of candles. And it gives you that sort of grounding element of the hearth in the home kind of thing. Storage is really, really important for anybody, and especially the cleaner or the more contemporary the space, then storage is even more paramount. So in this unit, what we did from coming in the entrance, the master bedroom, anywhere we could, we integrated storage. But the storage, you'll see, is just panels of the wall with an integrated handle that opens up. So it's not like you're walking in and looking at bang, 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 a whole bunch of storage. So the whole thing is to create everything as the backdrop. One of the things that you would buy this unit for is the view, and especially this corner. I mean, you're looking at Westmont, you're looking at one of the most beautiful neighborhoods in Canada, let alone in Montreal. That, combined with the fact that we have just a little over eight foot ceiling, I think to create the right scale, we kept the furniture very low. The sofa that is in front of the window even has a cutout in it, so it doesn't obstruct the view. And we really wanted to make sure that when you walk in, it's like, wow, what a great view. I would describe this space as simple, beautiful, luxurious. I would describe this space as warm, modern. It was just like, oh my God, this is it. It was just exactly what I wanted. I don't think I changed a thing.